All right, coming up next, it's a lightweight bout between Justin Gaethje and Diego Sanchez. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Just out of range with that right hand. Gaethje's kick to the body is blocked. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Left hand punch from the clinch. Sanchez gets caught with that punch. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Gaethje gets the tie clinch here. Right on the button. Battling for hooks. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, nice advance there by Gaethje. Just relentless in his pursuit of not just perfection, but of the opponent. I mean, the pressure that he fights with is phenomenal. He's constantly in your face, constantly making you work, making you feel like there is no place for you to escape the pressure of Justin Gaethje. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Justin Gaethje. Sanchez gets caught with that punch. Nice one-two there. Oh, that's a big hook there. Oh! Nice jab by him there. He's going... Oh! Oh, he might be out. Right hand punch from the clinch. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Nice punch there by Gaethje. Oh, and he caught the kick. And there comes the separation now. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, huge hook. Pretty good right hand. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ah. You are battering that nose. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. A oh, little single collar tie there. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. Strike. Listen. Ready to fight. Ready. Second round underway. Oh, and he connects with. Oh, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, a huge kick to the body. That can't feel good. Just out of range with that right hook. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Takedown defense holds up. Right hand punch from the clinch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. 
and watch the ability to land anywhere. Right, sure lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open. Oh. He didn't like that left hand. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. And we got a fight on our hands. So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because the bitch. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Come finish his fight. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man, I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Ten seconds remain in round two. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Oh, lands another shot to the body. Beautifully placed as he continues. Huge elbow there. Oh, big diving punch is good. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Sanchez. Oh, man, that cut is nasty. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really? Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Sanchez. Oh, collar tie. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Oh, 
Sanchez is his got full mount now. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somehow. he loved I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back, you need to be up on an elbow, right. you need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back. Waning seconds here of round number three. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Huge block there. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 30 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout, Justin the Highlight Gage. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.